Guys, in this video, we're going to talk about a very important hook called the content filter hook. Okay. So on the codex, if we check, the content hook is defined by apply filters function, and it provides us with the parameter content, which is a string. Okay. Uh, what does it do? It filters the post content. So whatever content is displayed over here on the front end uh, for the post, whatever content is displayed it is going to go ahead and filter that content so you know you can modify that content you can add something after the content before the content uh, you know you can change the content completely etc so whatever you want to display in the content uh, section of the post uh, that is controlled by the uh, the content hook so you can go ahead and uh, hook in your custom function and go ahead and modify the content so I'm going to show you how that works um, so content variable is basically the content of the current post each post yeah so this is the file which is WP includes post template this is where this is defined so let's have a look so as you can see the content um, the content uh, hook is defined with apply filters uh, function okay and it takes parameter as content okay and it is defined under the content function uh, as we all know if we go to our index.php we set the loop which is if have post while have post the post and then we display the title and the content so this the content function is the one responsible for displaying the content on the uh, post uh, if I take that off then the content won't be displayed only title will be displayed because the title is responsible for getting the title of the post and the content function is responsible for displaying the content of the post from here to here okay so so this function basically outputs the content as you can see displays the post content uh, we have our content definition we are using get the content function okay and uh, apply filter is basically going to return whatever content you want to return from your custom function which is hooked to the content so at this point uh, it is going to check are there any custom functions which are hooked to this hook if there are any uh, it is going to go ahead and take that uh, content uh, you know variable that is returned from the custom function and it is going to uh, return that particular content that modified content uh, variable okay and this content will be available here and we just doing a string replace uh, of this content and then echoing it finally okay so if you're going to modify the content then it, this is the place where it will be modified and uh, then the finally the content uh, modified content will be echoed out using the content uh, wherever you want so for example on index.php okay cool so let's go ahead and take an example I'm going to go to codex <coughs> so it just says that the content filter is used to filter the content of the post after it is retrieved from the database and before it is printed to the screen a plugin or theme can register a content filter with the code like using this okay where filter function name is the function wordpress should call when the content is being retrieved note that filter function must return the content after it is finished processing or site visitor will see a blank page and other plugins also filtering the content may generate error so all this is saying is that if you're going to attach your custom function which is filter function name for example then you must return the content variable uh, which is uh, this variable so your function must return this variable as we all know that whenever we use the add filter uh, add filter will have the variable available and your custom function needs to return that variable uh, after modifying it okay uh, again, this should be unique name as we all know this is very common. Uh, it cannot match any other function name already declared. So the first example over here is uh, this could be used to provide generated content uh, for a page uh, or a set of page sharing some characteristics uh, like uh, the same offer. So let's take an example of uh, this set of quotes. Let's see. So basically, um, we are using add filter function to hook our custom function my the content filter 
to the content hook and we are going to get the content variable available into this function okay and uh, what this is doing is that this is checking whether the post name is debug so I have my post defined over here uh, called the uh, debug that's the title of the post basically <coughs> so I'm saying that uh, whenever it's the uh, debug post okay then go ahead and echo out the global post variable okay so otherwise uh, returns the database content okay and go ahead and return the content all right so just one moment so we'll go on to front end we we'll refresh the page and sure enough you can see that the global post is uh, you know uh, echoed out over here we've got the global post which has the id post author post date post date gmt post content this is the content post title post status and post name is debug uh, post name basically is the title uh, sorry the post name so post name is debug is checking if the post name is debug go ahead and display uh, the the post uh, otherwise just display the content normally so for rest other post we have the content displayed why because uh, this condition is not being met uh, but for the uh, post which has got the post name as debug uh, we'll go ahead and display the global post so you can see that uh, so only in case if the post name is debug uh, will the global post variable be displayed which is what is happening over here okay otherwise uh, it's just going to return the content uh, which should be the normal uh, content without any modification okay so that's what is happening over here so we'll go ahead and comment out this set of code we will take uh, another example okay just one moment all right guys in the second example what we want to do is basically you want to go ahead and display an icon uh, into single post.php just before the post uh, content okay so the filter function adds an image before the post on the post page it assumes an image named post icon.php exists in the themes image folder it runs at a lower priority and uh, runs later than most other filters default is 10 okay so this is the set of codes uh, what I want to do first is go on to my themes directory <clears throat> this is my theme and create a folder called images and go ahead and put an icon named post underscore icon dot png it's a PM, png image okay so what's happening over here I'm using add filter function to hook in my custom function uh, I just the content filter which is this uh, to the the content hook and I'm using the priority of 20 so that um, uh, it runs later than the most other filters as the default is 10 okay and uh, this is going to add an icon at the beginning of every post page on a single dot php so it's on a single post not on the main site uh, okay so content uh, variable will be available which is what is given to you from apply filters function okay and um, it's going to check is single which means is the user on a single post page uh, single dot php then go ahead and add an image to the beginning of each page so content it will be equal to sprintf in the sprintf function we all know that um, it accepts uh, the first parameter as the format okay and then it takes the arguments uh, to be replaced off so for example uh, if had I had uh, this is the format okay there are uh, dollar which is and percent d monkeys in the and percent s then I have format as the first parameter and then I have the uh, num which is the second parameter okay uh, which should be replaced by this because the digit so that's why it's D it's an integer sorry and the location is the second parameter will be replaced by this uh, so because that's a string tree okay that's why it is ampersand s not ampersand it's dollar sign sorry okay uh, so just one moment so as you can see this will output there are five so you know this is replaced by five which is num monkeys in the tree okay so the s is replaced by the location tree okay so similarly over here that's what we're doing over here as well so we are passing the format which is this image tag and we're going to replace the s sign dollar um, s with the get blog info style sheet directory so this function is basically going to return us the a path up until our theme 
okay so wordpress dev wp content themes ihs example theme so this uh, get blog info style sheet directory is going to give us the path up until our theme okay so this source will be uh, the s uh, dollar and uh, say s will be replaced by the path till the directory and then images post icon dot png so basically the source will get the path up until this uh, image okay and then the title uh, after title uh, in fact after this image tag ends we will go ahead and add the content the the original content which was passed from here so now with what we are actually doing is we are concatenating uh, the existing content of the post uh, and uh, we are prefixing it with the image tag okay and then finally displaying the new content which will be equal to the image tag plus the original content uh, so that's what is going to be returned over here and given to the add filter which will in turn give it to the apply filters which will be returning the content over here so modified content will be returned by the content function which is what we're calling uh, in the single.php as well so this is my single.php and i'm calling the content so the content will have the modified content with an image tag uh, with the icon uh, displayed before the content okay so let's go ahead and click on the post you can see that this is the image tag basically image yeah image post icon and this is the post icon image that's being displayed over here before the content okay and so if you go to any of the post you will see that this is there on all the posts okay even this one so it's every it's there everywhere on ev on every single dot php and that's what we are checking over here that if it's a single dot php then go ahead and uh, you know prefix it with the image tag which contains the uh, post icon png source yep cool so that's basically the second example now we're going to go ahead and uh, check out the third example i'm going to uncomment this <clears throat> so according to codex the third example says that add a featured image set from single post edit screen which displays before the content on a single post only so this is again for the single.php so it is saying that on single.php go ahead and uh, display the post thumbnail uh, before the content okay so what we're doing here again using add filter to hook our custom function to the content hook and uh, passing content variable over here we're checking if the user is on singular post uh, which means single.php and if the post has thumb uh, post thumbnail okay and then thumbnail is equal to get the post thumbnail so get the post thumbnail uh, function basically gets the image tag so if you check the codex it says that this function the get the post thumbnail retrieves the post thumbnail in form of an image tag yeah so that's what is happening over here this will be equal to the image tag which contains the post thumbnail for that particular post and i'm saying content is equal to and i'm you know passing this image tag inside of the p with the class 76 so that it's easier for me to search otherwise you don't necessarily need to pass it between uh, within the p tag okay and then i'm appending the original content uh, after this image tag that is returned by the thumbnail variable I'm returning the final modified content so all this is doing is um, in the previous uh, example we were uh, you know prefixing the image tag uh, with the PNG image uh, over here we are prefixing the content with the image tag uh, which is actually the thumbnail of that particular post okay so let's go ahead and see if that works so refresh the page click on the post title and if you check the page source search 786 and sure enough inside of the the p tag we have the image uh, which is the thumbnail basically containing the uh, thumbnail okay and that's what is is there all right even if you want to check another example of another post we can check by clicking on the title so this doesn't have proper let's check another one this is the title again this is 
seven, six. And sure enough, we have the image source for the thumbnail. Yep, correct. So that's basically it. So the job of the content hook is uh, basically to allow us to add our custom function and filter the content before it's displayed. Okay, so the content displays uh, the content of the post. Before it is displayed, we're going to filter the content. If you want to modify it, add an image before that, or change the content completely, all of that, you can do that uh, by attaching your custom function to it because it returns the modified content, which is echoed uh, finally with the content uh, function. Okay. All right. Uh, so that's about it for this video. Um, just ensure that you are returning the content. If you notice in all of the examples, I'm returning the content. If you don't return the content, then obviously, you know, nothing will be displayed uh, by the content function. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.